Welcome to the Agent and Broker Video Learning Center. In this video, we'll review how you can help your Marketplace clients confirm their eligibility to enroll in Marketplace coverage through a special enrollment period. We'll also cover what documents your clients may need to submit to confirm eligibility and how to upload the documents to the Marketplace. Let's get started. A Special Enrollment Period, or SEP, allows consumers who lose qualifying health coverage or experience another qualifying event during the year to enroll in or change coverage outside the annual open enrollment period. It also allows consumers to add new dependents to their current coverage. Sometimes, a consumer may be asked to provide documentation to confirm SEP eligibility. This requirement is referred to as an SEP verification issue. Consumers will be notified if they have to provide this documentation on the eligibility results screen after they submit their application and in their official eligibility determination notice. They may get this notice from the marketplace or the private company you use to help them enroll through the Enhanced Direct Enrollment Pathway. However, if their notice doesn't say they need to provide documents, they can simply pick a plan and enroll. In most cases, consumers have 60 days from the date of their SEP qualifying event to enroll, change plans, or add their new dependent or dependent to their current coverage. Consumers have the option to choose a plan before or after they submit documents, but we recommend the consumers first pick a plan and submit their documents afterwards. After they pick a plan, they have 30 days to submit the required documents. The types of documents your client can submit to confirm eligibility depend on their SEP qualifying life event. For more information on qualifying life events and a comprehensive list of approved documentation your client can submit to confirm SEP eligibility based on their specific qualifying life event, visit healthcare.gov. If your client gets a notice from the marketplace saying they need to submit documentation to confirm SEP eligibility, they can submit documents online or by mail but uploading them through healthcare.gov or an enhanced direct enrollment pathway is the fastest and easiest way to get them to us. Please note that documents cannot be accepted by email or fax. To upload documentation to resolve an SEP verification issue through healthcare.gov, your client should log in to their healthcare.gov account. As a reminder, agents and brokers are not permitted to create a healthcare.gov account for a client. Log in to healthcare.gov using a client's credentials or create, collect, disclose, access, maintain, store, or use a client's personal identifying information for such purposes. After your client has logged in, they will click on their name in the top right of the screen and select My Applications and Coverage from the dropdown. On the next page, they will select the application they used to apply with an SEP under the Your Existing Applications section. Your client needs to ensure they select the application ID number that matches the one in their SEP verification issue notice. On the next screen, they will use the menu on the left side of the screen to click on Application Details. Afterward, they'll see a full list of SEP verification issues that apply to them and their household, listed under the Send Documents to Confirm the Life Event section. For each life event they need to confirm, they should select the green, Upload Documents or Upload More Documents button and choose a document type from the drop-down list. Then, they will click Select File to Upload to upload a document. After they click Select File to Upload, a pop-up window will appear to prompt them to select the specific document to upload. In this example, your client recently got married and needs to provide documents supporting this, such as a marriage certificate. Once they've selected the correct document, they will click the Upload button. Please note that your client will need an electronic file of the document they plan to upload saved on their computer. It can be a scan or clear photo. When the document upload is successful, a green checkmark appears left of the file name. If your client has other SEP verification issues that they need to upload documents for, they'll repeat the upload process for each issue. If your client has trouble uploading documents, they should double check the document format and size, then try uploading again. If re-uploading their documents doesn't work, they may need to mail in documents. 
They should include the page from the notice the marketplace sent them that has a barcode unique to their situation. This page lets us easily match their mail documents with their marketplace application. Afterward, your client will select the Take Me Back button to return to the application details page. Below their SEP, they can view whether their upload was successful and any next steps they may need to take. If you're assisting clients through the Enhanced Direct Enrollment Pathway, or EDE, you will be able to directly access your client's notifications, including their 1095As, and help them upload required documents. Contact your direct enrollment platform provider for more information about the specific features they offer. Your client should submit the necessary documentation to confirm their SEP eligibility by the deadline in order to prevent their pended plan selection from being canceled. A few days after all documents have been submitted successfully, we will review each document to decide if it confirms the required information. If we need additional information, we will contact your client. Additionally, we will let them know when their information has been verified and their issue has been resolved. As soon as your client's SEP eligibility is confirmed, the marketplace will send their enrollment to their health insurance company. Your client will be required to make their first premium payment in order for coverage to be effectuated. Coverage will be effective on a date determined by their SEP type and the date of plan selection. If your client's coverage effective date passes before their SEP verification issue is resolved, then their coverage effective date will be retroactive However, they will owe premiums for the retroactive period. If your client misses the deadline, they will receive an expiration notice explaining that their SCP verification issue wasn't resolved and that they won't be enrolled in coverage. They will also get a final eligibility notice with information about how to appeal if they disagree with this decision. If your client hasn't heard from the marketplace 15 days after submitting their documentation, they should contact the Marketplace Call Center at 1-800-318-2596 and explain that they received a notice requesting documents. If your client has granted you permission to access their account information when contacting the Marketplace Call Center, including to check the status of their application, you can call the Marketplace Call Center directly on their behalf. Please note that you are only able to check the status of applications with which you are affiliated as the assisting agent or broker. You may also use EDE Private Partner websites to check the status of your client's document submission. If the call center says the marketplace has received your client's documents, they don't need to do anything else unless they get a request for more information. If the call center verifies that we have their documents, your client should not send the same documents a second time even if they continue to get reminder emails. If the call center says the marketplace has not received their documents, they should review the eligibility notice and reminder notices they've received to see which documents to send and send them as soon as possible. We hope this video has been helpful. If you need additional support helping your clients resolve an SCP verification issue, contact the Marketplace Call Center. Thank you for watching.